What's up, YouTubers? Today I'll bring you a tech profile on the U allocators. Uh, it's on the it's the deck is based on the new set, which is build and strike also. And then let's get on started. For the starter, uh, Armbrush Dragon U allocator Linchu. It's a great zero and well, great one killer. So it's the best starter of the deck. You could run Grade 3 Searcher if you want, so it depends on you, but I like this one better, even though you can't search for Grade 3. Next, 2 Eradicator Tempest Bow Dragon. Uh, you use this as, as a... How do I say this? Like, It's a pressure to your opponent, because the second ability, you gain so much from it. Uh, you don't usually use the limb break, because it's kind of as heavy, so all you care is the second effect gains that much power. So basically, for like... Uh, when your opponent has four, you have four. Like you swing this, your opponent's rear guard is all empty. You have like th two, two or three empty rear guard. It swings for twenty. Like pretend it's two. You swing for twenty five, uh, which is a lot. So your opponent always want to have to guard it. If it's eleven, normally that's what a uh, great three will have without booster. It's supposed to be eleven. They could just drop a ten for two to pass. Now they have to drop more than that. That's why this card's broken. Look at that. Then our new break guard. Eradicator Ignition Dragon. Basically, kind of as one, uh, gain, your Vanguard gains 10k, and then your opponent choose two of their rear guard and retire. Second of all, if you have more rear guard than your opponent, gains 2000 when it attacks. So, it's better than Warring Sword since you kill so much rear guard. Two, get this 4000 power by killing two. So, the more amount of open rear guard you have, you and your opponent have, the more power your Tempest Bow gets. Then the last grade three is our finisher of the game, Dragon Eradicator Dragonic Descendant. Uh, no matter if you ride on top of Break or not, if your opponent pretend your opponent have five, you just ride this over and you swing with eleven and then stand again and then with a booster or without eleven again, it punishes your opponent hard enough since your opponent had to drop two car and then with a uh, turn drive you do. So double twin drive, you can give everything to rear, and then your opponent might not be able to guard. Next up for grade two, we have our three Superman Army Eradicator Tsubitan. Um, basically our damage flipper. So you run there because you detect counterblasts a lot. So you need to run three. You could run three to four. It depends on you though. Uh, I like to run three because I run four of this. Uh, Eradicator. Lerenton Force Dragon. Basically, at grade 2, when you ride Zuitan on the Vanguard, you basically call this to the back third call, so make sure your opponent doesn't kill it, and then next time you just ride I Ignition Dragon, and this effect just pop one automatically. So that's why I like this card. It's one is a good card that pops, so that's why with these, you don't need to use Tempest Bow Slim and Break. Uh, and then for... Last grade 2 is our 12k attacker, <laughs> like nothing much to explain. Then, for Perfect Shield, there's no Queen the Wall in the deck right now. Uh, they have it for the Brawler, which is Legion, not right now, so all we can run is for Perfect, nothing else, nothing has changed. Then our 10k, uh, you run 10k though, like, I don't like it, but you do run it, since if you you are a grade 2, and then your Vanguard this, and then you 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 could call this, then call this behind, so you could just swing with this, and then swing with your Vanguard. Next turn you ride a grade three and switch. Uh, by retire after retire you can switch them up. So it's a sixteen boost, uh, it's a seven key booster. That's why I run four of them. Then three of the new cards, that the allocator duo, uh, ability the same thing as the. Uh, I think. As Force Dragon, uh, the difference is that this you so charge it and then pop a front row unit that you 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 want to destroy when you ride a Great Three. Uh, except this one is when you counter boss one, so there's different between it. Then our like can serve bunch of I don't really know the name, but it's a uh, uh, a like basically give you a better hand because if you have bad hand you can just call this and drop a card and draw a new one so 
It's okay. You could run this as 10k booster, the one from the trial deck, or it's your choice, so not really much to say. Then, Rising Phoenix, it's a Soul Blast Sutra card, it's so good. Uh, cause you, this deck, you don't, like, cause of Descending, you drop too much card, and then after, if you use Tempest Bolt's Limit Break, you drop, bump the whole field, and then you're supposed to call, so it makes, uh, it drop your hand also, so that's why you run one to give your more hand. Then we run one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then two more. Ten crit. Uh, I try. I think about running 12, but if you don't run draw it, and you don't have enough hand, Descendant might be dead. Since if you have a tr if you try to check a draw trigger and then the second check, you will get three card in hand and you have enough to ditch for Descendant. That's why you run two draw. Ten crit is just for that. If you write Descendant and your opponent only have four damage, well, you break ride it. Your opponent usually will say no guard, so you want to try to check a great critical trigger. So your opponent like. Well, no, that next time they're supposed to guard, that's why. Then, for heal, <clears throat> not so much to say, like, it's just, you had to run it. And then, that's the deck profile on our Eradicator, Eradicator decks. Uh, hope you guys like it, and please subscribe. Thank you.